Got the mic on this time. Shut up. Derek Bastard here from BB Bastard. Brent Bastard, welcome to Bastard TV, episode seven. The judgment on silicas. Silicas. Well, we did some testing. We uh, the last couple of videos we did, we took a little heat on them because we had some fun and we were kind of destructive with them. Um, I'm not backing off having some fun in your own free time, but uh, do it safe. Have fun. Upon reviewing the video and, and getting some advice for some people, we decided that we needed to do two things. We need to really do a, a more scientific approach to how they behave and we needed to reshoot some video that actually had points. <laughs> Comparative <laughs> testing, styrene versus silica, exactly. and what they each do exactly. to objects. So over the course of the next few minutes, you're gonna be seeing video overlaid of our results. Uh, we did four or five objects. Uh, we shot at 300 and 600 FPS uh, on the camera, not, not FPS, from the gun that we were shooting with, uh, frames per second on a high-speed camera. Mistake, dude. <laughs> yeah, it gets confusing sometimes. And uh, we ran, as you saw in the credit roll, with the PTW tuned up to about 480, 490. Um, we shot them side by side, so we shot one with styrene, two eights, and we sh shot also with the silica two eights. And what we did was we shot every game, airsoft game object, between a TM plastic body, yeah. to an optic, to a radio, just to show you what a styrene BB is going to do against it, and the silica, because everybody out there is going to think that silica is going to break all of your freaking gun objects, everything's like that. It's not true. Yes, it Im impacts with more force, and it doesn't break on impact of most items. But it's not. It's not in a in a world all of its own where it, it it's going to hurt you. It's going to pierce your skin. A styrene BB is going to pierce your skin, same as a silica. It's going to break your your. Well, we're, we're, you'll see. You'll see with the objects that we chose. And uh, the main the, uh, yeah. yeah, the main point being, uh, we found out from the stuff that you're watching right now uh, that. Glass breaking isn't the issue; it's how it breaks. Mm. Um, the, mere, the real argument was, oh, they break glass, and well, yeah, of course they do. But we, you know, styrene does break glass too in certain situations. The problem we really have, and we discovered, and uh, with the silicas, is they actually it's the way they break glass. So it doesn't just break the glass. If you see it on high speed, you see the glass shatter into small shards, which are dangerous enough. And powder. But there's this powder that comes off. And we didn't notice it until we really analyzed the, the greenhouse footage from the previous episode. It's ridiculous. You can't keep this stuff out of eye pro. It's going to get everywhere. It actually floats around in the air. And getting that stuff in your eyes is going to be ridiculous. So from that perspective, uh, I mean, I was the first guy to say, let's just police games where there's no glass. Well, well how are you going to do that? People have it on their optics. You know, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's uh, The optic is right in front of your eyes. So there, there's just no place in a game. In a game. Yeah. In the hobby, sure, because they're a great round for accuracy. But in a game, you just you can't police everything. Exactly. And uh, the optics in front of your face, the powder is going to get through your eye pro no matter yeah. what. So. so the judgment is big X on the silicas. If you're in a game where you're shooting at other people, which is 90% of the games that we promote, yeah. and we, we feel that's actually where Airsoft lies, is that they're shooting other people for some force. So uh, for that reason, we're not going to continue to make them. I know that kind of is going to probably surprise people, but we've decided that we don't want to we don't want to have that stigma around. And we also have decided that there's probably a very small uh, part of the community that could actually use them safely. So we're actually going to discontinue making them. Uh, what we have in the store is what we'll sell, and from that point on, we're just going to kind of leave them in the background. They're, they're, in the, they're in the same category as the Pearls and the Knights. They're a novelty. They're great for non-force on force, but uh, keep yeah. them out of the games, guys. So no human contact, and uh, that's pretty much where it's going to land. Uh, very surprised by it, but you know what? We, we got the video ourselves, so we're not going to argue with it. it. It is what it is, and we got to move on with it. So. I'm Brent Bastard. I'm Derek Bastard. Play safe. Play with honor. Don't play with silicas. <laughs>